So now let's summarize what we've seen in virtual memory here. So virtual memory is fundamentally a level of indirection. And it's indirection between the virtual program addresses that we give to each program and the physical RAM addresses that we have in our memory. By adding this level of indirection, we can do a lot of cool things. So we can map memory to disk. So it gives us sort of unlimited memory. We can keep programs from accessing each other's memory. This gives us security and reliability. And that's because each program has its own virtual addresses. So they each have their own 32-bit address space. We can also fill holes in the memory address space. So this gives us efficiency. Because we've got this mapping between the program addresses and the physical addresses, even if we have holes in our physical addresses, we can just map some more programs into it without any problems. However, the trade-off here is we have to translate every single memory access. So all of our programs are going to give us virtual addresses. We have to translate them to physical addresses. And remember, we have 1.33 memory accesses for every instruction, which means we need to be able to do this really fast, not hurt performance. So in order to keep track of these translations, we have page tables. And the page tables keep track of all of the translations for a program. So that's a lot of entries. And in fact, if we want to translate every word, it's going to be a whole large number of entries. We need one word translation for every single one of our addresses in the program's address space. In order to solve that problem, we use larger pages. So today we use four kilobyte pages. People are moving to even larger pages. And this allows us to reduce the number of page table entries in the page table. So with four kilobyte pages for a 32-bit machine, we only need a million page table entries. In order to make this fast, we have a hardware translation look-aside buffer, the TLB, which is a small cache which keeps the most recently used page table entries in order to do really fast translation. So we also saw how we need to be able to work with the TLB and the cache together for good performance. We saw two basic caches, there were basic combinations. There was a physical cache. So the physical cache has a physical address into the cache, which means we have to do the translation first. So we have to wait for the TLB before we can access the cache, and this is slow. We also saw virtual caches. So virtual caches use the virtual address directly. We don't need any translation, but because we don't have any translation, we don't get any protection. So we don't get the security to prevent programs from bumping into each other. We then saw the combination of a virtually indexed, physically tagged, or VIPT cache. So the VIP cache uses the virtual address for the index and the physical address for the tag. This allows us to look up data in the cache using the virtual address at the same time as we run the TLB. And then at the end, we use the physical address to make sure that we're not having any security problems. So this is a very common way to do things, but it limits the size of our cache because we can only use the virtual the bits sorry, that are the same between the virtual and physical address in order to index into the cache. So it limits its size.